deploy your google ai studio app for completely free with a custom domain so this is my google ai studio app okay and as you can see from here i have successfully been able to deploy it on the free hosting okay and then this is the shareable link and i'm going to send the shareable link right onto my phone okay so i'm going to open it from my phone so this is the link I'm simply going to click on it and then as you can see it has opened and then my app is working completely fine so let me show you how you can do the exact same thing okay so all that you have to do is simply go to google ai studio okay so when you go to google AI studio over here you see that we have several options simply come to the builder then come and click on it to select it and then come here to where we have your app and then come and then select it so among your app simply come and then select the one that you want to deploy for completely free so i'm going to select this calendar okay and then when you select it over here you see that we have several options right here simply come and then click on download app and then it's going to download your app in a zip file just like this come and then click on show in folder and it is going to open your zip file simply come and then right click on it and then come here to where you have extract or and come and click on it okay so it is going to extract it and then over here come and make sure that show extracted file when complete is checked and come and click on extract so it is going to extract it and then it will open just like this as you can see we have everything right here all that you have to do is simply come and then drag your extracted folder right onto your desktop just like this okay so this is it we have it now all that you have to do is simply open virtual studio code install it if you don't have it that is vs code and then simply come here to where we have the file and then come and click on the file and then over here come and then click on open folder okay so when you click on it simply come and then select your extracted folder and then come and then click on select folder so when you click on it it is going to open everything right in vs code just like this okay but when you look at everything right here, you see that we don't have a Dix folder. Okay, so we have to create one. So let me show you how to do it. So from the top here, from the options, simply come and then click on the terminal. Okay, and then come and click on new terminal. So when you click on new terminal, it is going to open the terminal right inside your folder just like this. Okay, and then come and then run this. Okay, just type in npm space install and then hit enter okay so it is going to install everything for you so that you'll be able to build the dex folder okay so as you can see that successfully installed and then all that you have to do is to simply come here again and then come and then type in npm space run space build and then hit enter okay so that it will build the dex okay so as you can see from here it has successfully built the dex for us okay so let me show you where you will find the dex so among here you see that you have the dex right here which has been created good now that we have the dex let's preview our app locally to see that it works perfectly fine so come and then type in npm space run space preview and then hit enter okay and then it's going to give us a local link so as you can see this is the local link just put the mouse on it and then you can simply press control and then click on it to follow the link and as you can see the local link is working perfectly fine and our app is completely here now we have to load it from the disk okay so simply come here to the terminal and then over here where we have the plus sign the down arrow come and then click on it and come and then click on new terminal okay so when you click on it it will open a new terminal just like this inside the folder okay and now let's open the app from the disk okay so simply type in mps space serve space disk and then hit enter okay so that it will create a local link right from the disk folder so as you can see this is the link simply come and then click on it and then as you can see it is working perfectly fine good now over here you see that this is the report okay so from the report you see that it's found an error as so, as so as you can see from here the index.css okay it's returned an error so why let me show you why the reason why is that it is asking to follow up an index.css okay so when you come here to the disk and then you open it you see that from my index folder i don't have any index.css for file in it okay i don't have any index.css file in it and then there is a link inside my index 
in index.html to follow the index.css okay so as you can see there is get and then follow the index.css since we don't have it okay all that you have to do is that we have to remove it from the index.html okay so let's open the index.html and as you can see from here from the index.html you see that we have a link right here okay and then the link is saying that we should load an index.css but we don't have this inside my folder so just remove it and then press backspace so that there wouldn't be any space okay so always check yours and then after that simply come and then make sure that you save it by pressing ctrl plus x on your keyboard to save it okay so make sure that you check yours okay and after that let's come to the terminal again and then come here to the down arrow click on it and then come and then click on new terminal so that it will open the terminal right inside our folder and then now let's save the disk again okay so just type in nps space save space disk and then hit enter to load it right from the disk okay so as you can see it has created a new link for us just click on it and the app is working perfectly fine now let's check if you will find any error okay so as you see that's index.css error is gone but we have an error here this error there is nothing wrong with it okay that is the falcon error okay so this one the browser asks to load an app icon but i don't have an app icon so it is no problem at all okay so just leave this error just like that okay now all that you have to do is to simply push it right to firebase okay so simply come here again and then come and then click on the new terminal okay and then over here from the terminal as it is going to open right from our folder and then come and then type in firebase space dash dash version okay so that to check you have firebase installed and then hit enter so as you can see i have installed firebase and then this is the version so make sure that you install firebase if you haven't installed it i have a video on my channel check it and then install it okay and now let's log into firebase by typing in firebase space login and then you hit enter okay so when you hit enter it is going to ask you to enable gemini in firebase okay so from here simply come and then type y on your keyboard and then type and then hit enter okay good so as you can see we have successfully been able to enable gemini and then we have to also allow it to collect some futures okay so simply come and then type y on your keyboard again and then hit enter good now it is going to open your browser and then it is going to ask you to use your email address to log in right into firebase okay so after allowing and then approving it you see that you have successfully logged into our firebase and then from here too it was a success login okay good now that we have been able to log in into our firebase account simply go to google okay and then come and type in firebase and then hit enter we are going to create a project okay from firebase and then simply come and then click firebase to select it and then over here make sure that you have logged in with the exact same account and come here to go to console and then click on it so over here you have to come and then create a project okay so from here where it says get started by setting up a firebase project come and click on it and then over here all that you have to do is simply come and then type in your project name okay so type in the exact name just like your app just like this one okay and then this is going to be your link okay good so after typing it in all that you have to do is to simply come in and come and check the boss to accept their terms okay so good after doing then simply come here and then come and click on continue and then over here scroll down and come and click on continue again and then come here again and then come and click on the continue and then you have to skip the configuration google an analytics okay so this one just skip it by simply come and then check this box so that it doesn't do the configuration analysis okay that is the google analysis just skip it and then simply come here scroll down and then come and then check the box to accept their terms okay and then come and then click on create project so it is going to create your project for you okay so we have successfully created our project for our app okay now all that you have to do is simply come and then click on the continue okay good so from here as you can see we have successfully created our project 
so now that we have successfully created our projects let's come here back to vs code okay and then come here and then come and type firebase space init space hosting okay and then hit enter so that we can host our project to firebase okay and then over here it is going to ask us are we ready simply come and then type y or your keyboard and then come and hit enter good and then from here you have to simply come and then select use an existing project okay and then hit enter good and then it is going to ask you to select the project make sure that you select the one that we created and then hit enter and then over here it is going to ask you to choose the public directory and then come and type in disk okay that this that we just created and then we save the link simply type the disk and then hit enter and then from here it is going to ask you to configure it simply come and then type y on your keyboard okay and then hit enter and then from here it is going to ask you to push it directly to github simply come and then type n on your keyboard and then hit enter to say no okay we are not going to push it to github good and then after that over here it is going to ask you to rewrite your index.html simply say no okay by simply typing n on your keyboard then you hit enter okay good so after that over here it is going to create a firebase.json okay just like this and then the firebase rc okay and as you can see firebase initialization complete good and then now we can simply host it okay so from here simply come and then type in this okay that is firebase space deploy space dash dash only space hosting okay and then come and then hit enter and then from here you see that it is going to deploy your app for you so as you can see we have successfully deployed our app completely free on firebase okay and then this is the link okay so this is the shareable link so from here hosting url you can simply come and then follow the link by clicking on it and then as you can see it is going to ask you that do you want to go yes simply come and then click on open and the app is working perfectly fine okay so now let me show you how you can use your own custom domain so simply go to google and then come and type in firebase just like this and then hit enter and then from firebase simply come and then click on it and then come here and then come and click on go to console okay so when you click on it it is going to open your projects okay so as you can see welcome back to firebase and then simply come here to where you have all your projects okay so you are going to see the project that we just hosted so this is the project and then it is at no cost okay so simply come and then click on it to select the project so when you select it over here you see that we have several options okay so what you are going to do is that simply come here to where we have the build okay the down arrow right here simply come and then click on it and then among the list you are going to see that we have hosting okay so just look at it and then see that we have hosting among that list and then come and then click on the hosting okay so when you click on the hosting simply come here to the portion where we have domains okay so you are simply going to get your default domain and then come and click on add custom domain so when you click on add custom domain over here you have the option to add your own custom domain which will be used for your app okay so that is this, this is actually how to host your google ai studio app with a custom domain like the video and then see you in my next video